We all know that Valorant's pistols are completely busted. But now, Laz jumping the corner. Goes ahead, gets the headshot. Heck should take it down in the meantime. Ten, find the kill. One yet. Pushing come forward. We'll also be able to finish him off. Tries to go aggro, gets right up against oh, them, and one yet. How does he do it? Triple kills in just about every pistol round. Whether you're deleting someone with the classics right click or one tapping them with a sheriff, Valorant's sidearms can do some serious damage. And yet, there are two specific pistols that reign supreme, and the community has never been able to agree on which one is king. This is gonna be huge. He's gonna spot all of them right now. One, two, three, oh four, one. Oh my God. Looking for the ace right now, and it's about to be peaked out here. Silver Arrow to come out, and he's gonna win this fight. And he does with another headshot. Uh, is tense. He's got the frenzy, and he's got a oh. kill. Man, all up in Moose's face, and he's getting a jumping one as well on the thief. I said this the first time I called tens. This is his world, and we're just living in it. There are certain spray downs that you typically only see from the frenzy, and some tap fests that have become a staple with the ghost. Every Valorant player has a preference, but are your pistol buying habits putting you at a disadvantage? Is one of these pistols objectively better than the other? It's contained well by Team Liquid. Com also gone for another attempt to <laughs> no way in hell. Okay, so before we get into Valorant's pistol meta, I need you to check out our new merch collection, which includes our Onward and Forward tee. Let's get one thing straight. You are the best fucking gamer on planet Earth. And I think it's time you started dressing the part. Shift walking is for cowards. Smash that W key and check out the Score Esports Drop 2, available now. All right, so the Frenzy and the Ghost have been compared incessantly since basically the beginning of Valorant. They obviously have different use cases, but because the cost is almost the same, people have been led to wonder which one has better value. Real ones probably remember that throughout the first year of Valorant, the Frenzy only cost 400 credits compared to the Ghost's 500, meaning that you could buy a Frenzy and light armor on pistol rounds and do some serious damage. Some of you probably have fond memories of that time. Others, Nightmares. Why? Well, in the early days of Valorant, the Frenzy was busted. Also unsuccessful. Like, uh, how is he doing this with this shit gun? 3v3, 70 HP, gonna get an opportunity for one more. Last okay. point, I'm brilliant. Done. Oh, but what a Nitro. Cage. Oh, the cage. It covers himself up, but none of these players are touching it. But Nitro comes out of the cage. Oh, coming out of no! the cage, and he's doing just fine. Nitro getting a 4K out of thin air. Riot eventually increased the price of the Frenzy to 500 credits in February 2021, only to reduce the cost to 450 when they nerfed the walking and running accuracy of all pistols a few months later. This basically put the Frenzy and the Ghost on equal footing in terms of economy, since there's no agent for whom 50 credits is going to make or break their buy. So what was it that set them apart? Well, the Frenzy is a machine pistol capable of doing serious damage from short range and often shines with a bit of run and gun. The Ghost, on the other hand, is a silenced sidearm that does well in mid to long range gunfights and is just generally more versatile. That being said, there are a surprising number of Frenzy enjoyers out there. I will say the CZ is like a more broken version of the Frenzy and the MP9 is basically like a stinger. So it's like, you know, coming from CS, me and Leaf, that's what we, we pride on right there. Uh, the gun I prefer is the Frenzy because uh, the close range fights are like what I uh, typically try to do. I don't like doing the long range uh, ghost one taps. I'm not really like a, an aim labs uh, aimer, I guess. The Frenzy has 13 round mags with an automatic rate of fire, while the Ghost has 15 round mags with a slower semi-automatic rate of fire. But their damage fall off at distance is what really sets the Ghost apart. It deals 105 damage to the head from zero to 30 meters, meaning you can one tap enemies who don't have armor compared to the Frenzy's 78 damage to the head, which is the same as the classic. Unlike the Ghost in the Classic though, the Frenzy's damage fall off starts after only 20 meters rather than 30, making it ideal at closer ranges. 
Meanwhile, the ghost has the undocumented advantage of making an extremely satisfying sound when you gush enemies with it. Headshot. Nice. Nice. One enemy remains. Now, because the ghost is silenced, it also outperforms the frenzy when spamming through smokes because its tracers aren't visible to enemies. You're much less likely to get punished for spamming through smokes because of this. And another area in which the ghost shines is in terms of first shot accuracy. It has a first shot spread of 0.3 degrees versus the frenzy's measly 0.65. Everyone who's ever used a frenzy has had a moment where you got a crosshair on someone's head and you shoot and it just doesn't register and it just doesn't feel good. But despite this understandable disadvantage, some of the best players in the world still swear by the frenzy. It's their weapon of choice on pistol rounds, and many of them even choose to buy it when they're on an eco. It's definitely better than the sheriff in, in some cases because of the money, the economy situation. Uh, and it's easy to get a, a first kill, even if they're 150 health, it, it still brings them down very quick. It's like a, it's, it's an automatic pistol. And despite it being the less popular pistol, players who opted for the Frenzy in the VCT earlier this year put in work. Ability to back sight. Foxy will be able to find the second kill. The pursuit now coming through, but Sun is in. Foxy caught trying to remove the dart. What? Now Buzz taking down the push coming oh! in. And Sparrow! Spike down. Somehow gets the reload, the kill. 10 seconds remaining. Oh! And Sparrow gets the 4K RRQ. Wow. It's the Frenzy meta. Right now. That was like a wall bang. And frenzies are so good! I wonder if January 1st is the most popular DOB. Like on, on uh, account registration. By the way, does your frenzy do that? Because mine doesn't. Not that I use it. What the? What? What? Similar to the Phantom and the Vandal, for most players, it's just a question of personal preference. There are those who only buy the ghost and those who swear by the frenzy. Still, there is a clear winner between the two. Most people's preference is to buy the ghost. According to Valorbuff, over the last six months, the frenzy has only accounted for 0.6% of all kills in ranked. The only gun that's worse than that is the shorty at 0.4%. Meanwhile, the ghost is actually the deadliest sidearm, accounting for 7% of all kills in ranked over the same time period. But, as we know, Riot doesn't always balance their game around us casuals. So back in June, they decided to nerf the frenzy once more by making it harder to control at long range, which some pros believe finally locked in the ghost as the gun to buy. I think it was loud last year. They they loved the frenzy, and I was I remember I was telling like G2 at the time like we all have to buy frenzies like it's too OP, but that was before the nerf. I don't know if people are going to be using it as much because honestly, it's just not the same as it used to be. Like it used to be so good. And ever since they changed the spread and the recoil on it, it just does not feel good anymore. Like, I even tried using it. And it's, it feels too random. It just doesn't feel like it's worth it. So at this point, it's pretty fair to say that the ghost is objectively better, but there are certainly still some frenzy stands out there who swear by their sidearm of choice. But what we wanted to find out was whether or not players actually find more success with one gun over the other at the pro level. Sure, more people tend to buy the Ghost, but that doesn't necessarily just make it better. Are people just buying it because they see everyone else doing it, or is the frenzy genuinely worse? We wanted to settle this argument once and for all with some statistics. And for that, I brought in Colton, because who loves Valorant and statistical-based arguments more than he does? Right, buddy? And now, the guy who actually knows what he's talking about. All right, Valorant Champions ended a few months ago, and I may not exactly be a diehard fan, but Niall wanted to talk about it. So I'm here to share with you some pretty interesting stats from the event. Throughout Champions, we saw some pretty incredible pistol plays. And thanks to some help from Valorant analyst Willminder and stats from Run It Back, we know that the Ghost was purchased a total of 1,030 times throughout the event, while the Frenzy was only purchased 390 five times. And after everything we've already mentioned, that doesn't seem all that surprising. The Ghost is just generally the more popular option, and pros really seem to understand why. 
On average, players who purchased a ghost managed to get a kill in 72.8% of rounds, while Frenzy users only managed to get a kill in 57.4%. So the ghost won pretty handily if you look at the tournament as a whole, but if we narrow it down to just pistol rounds, things get a lot more interesting. Players who purchased a ghost on pistol rounds got theirs 83% of the time, but not even 3% behind them were Frenzy users who got a kill in 80.4% of pistol rounds. In fact, 88.5% of the total kills from either gun came on pistol rounds. So what does that all mean? Well, although the Ghost is the preferred weapon across the board, the Frenzy is still a reliable option on rounds 1 and 13. It saw less success on eco rounds and half buys, but considering players purchased over twice as many Ghosts throughout the event, that's not too surprising. But what I do find interesting is that even given the much larger sample size, players using the Ghost still managed to maintain a really high level of success even when they were at an economic disadvantage. Now, of course, pros know how to use these guns a hell of a lot better than your random ranked teammates. And they probably do a much better job of putting themselves in a position to get the most out of every buy. You may have a preference for one gun or the other, but the stats don't lie. The Ghost is simply more effective in more rounds. And that was the guy who actually knows what he's talking about. Although there are some diehards out there who would have you believe that the Frenzy is God's gift to Valorant, the Ghost is actually better statistically across the board. From ranked to pro play, it's the superior choice in practically every situation. And unless Riot suddenly decides to shake up the pistol meta, it will likely remain that way for some time. But that doesn't mean that you should never buy the Frenzy. Valorant is designed so that practically every single gun is viable in certain situations. Some of them even excel in places they shouldn't. So in terms of uh, weapon strengths and whatever, I mean, even on pistol rounds, you see all the pistols half the time. So it's like the game's in a really good spot, in my opinion, where there's a lot of variety in ways you can play the game and what you want to use inside the game. So if you prefer a certain weapon or play style, Stick with it. Not every player can frag out with a frenzy and not every player can gush enemies with a ghost. Ultimately, the best weapons to use in any game are the ones that help you win. So if that means defying convention or ignoring stats completely, so be it. Do your thing. I, I use the ghost on pistol rounds on T side. If I'm ever eco, I buy a Frenzy, obviously. The Frenzy is insane. It's so good. Pistol but pistol rounds, I like the Ghost. Yeah, Ghost is sick on pistol. Especially on on, on attack. On CT, uh, a Frenzy, because you can play the close angles, obviously, is, is really good. But if I'm T-side, a, a, a pistol round, Ghost, man. It's goaded.